step could take me away from this Reality, no morality So you hold me, everything is spinning The vertigo is winning There is no pill Hopelessly, endlessly, all is spinning And I'm losing you Okay, we're ready to go. It is that time, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We're back, everybody. We're back. We're back. Three weeks. Missing. Been missing for three weeks. Lots of questions. I left with, with a depressing manner. And to the podcast room. Also, a new transition. Which is nice. That's uh, kind of a, somewhat of an improvement. But welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
let's let you see all of you hopefully guys listening of course those people watch this this live or in the course in the podcast room or watch us later on or whatever you guys are doing in your lovely lovely lives happy sunday unfortunately well, yes, fortunately i took some time off i feel a little bit better there's still a lot of questions need to be answered um, but I did a little research, so today is a podcast. I'm back. I'm officially back on Twitch. Return night. A lot of things that need to be changed. There's a lot to be need to be said because there's been a ton of questions need to be the questions I also need to ask you, chat. Um, if we do get there, but still. Let's just get things started here, because I want, I want to get this out of my chest, because there's a lot of things I want to say. Because I left, um, I left, I left Twitch for, for a few, for a few reasons. Knowing that it's best to take a break, because sometimes it's easy not, not to, it's not easy to just do this on here. And as, you know, being part of this lovely, lovely community, but sometimes my fire community has been quite questionable with people, a lot of people who are absent. Um, I don't blame them. I did. I did. I became a jerk, and I also blame. That's why the first thing I'll talk about is the the community itself. I don't know. I said it before we're shorthanded. Every stream I always say we're short, very shorthanded because people are, are not here. People are absent. So I don't blame them. Also, you guys, if you hear the fan, it's hot. It's really hot here, and especially in my office or in the highest point in, in my house, it's hot as hell. It's really hot so i apologize if they if you hear the fan in the back i i need i need it right now today is not a today is not a good this this weekend's been full of humidity and now it's gonna rain which has been it's just gonna be more and more hell for me so it's been hell for like you know for, for as far as like what the hot weather is concerned so but we, we are in the podcast room for today i want to discuss on a few things before we, before we do any game whatsoever um Want to break? Want to break down a little bit what what's been happening for the past few weeks? Uh, but there's gonna be a new, a new, it's a, it's a brand new me, a new schedule, a new change, new games being are gonna be played soon, and some old games are coming back. Some some of the old let's plays I actually rage quitted. I'll be able to revisit the game again, like Tag Force, which I know people are actually asking me about Tag Force. Like, Where's it gonna come back? I'm like, it might be dead. But at least, you know, like, that's an example for me. Like, I want to try and just get back to Tag Force again. Um, so I've actually been dueling, getting back to dueling again. So I'm gonna, I hopefully have some confidence in someone. Let me just adjust my mic real quick there. Sorry. But it's just, it's going to be a, big, a bit of an issue for me to come back to games I rage quit it for. It's rare, but I often tend to at least try to get some stuff out of the way. So I want to try to get there as much as possible. So... We'll probably bring back some of the games we, we, we haven't really finished yet. Like, Tomb Raider Underworld is another one I want to try and finish on stream. But I, did, I actually have some of the Tomb Raider games I do want to play. As Tomb Raider, as you probably know Tomb Raider is one of my favorite, one of my favorite franchise games. You know, besides Pokemon and, and, and stuff too. And now it was, it's been my, my go-to since childhood, since the PS1 days. Um, so when I was at like 6 or whatever. That's when, I, that's when I got my first... That's when I was 8. Like seven or eight, and that's when I got my first um, PS, my first console, which was my very own console that I kept, was the PS One. But it was defective because for some reason the PS One didn't work. Um, but that's why I got a PS Two instead. So I, I got both consoles on the same day. It was like, it's crazy. It drove, it drove my mom crazy, but here we are. But yeah, it's podcast time. Podcast, podcast time. Um, that's gonna be pretty interesting. So. Definitely, I also wrote down some top. Also, that's what I need to also work on is we're writing down topics. But I want to let you guys know, of course, there's gonna be a few things change. As I also said before, uh, if you guys, if you guys just saw, also this is a new transition, by the way. It's just, a, it's just a very classic fade, nothing new, but it's a new transition that I, or like to me, it's a new transition that I, since I've had that swirl, I have the the fade away transition. So, so. You can probably tell it's a little bit different now. I just changed it. Just went right on, right. <laughs> we started, we started going live. So, um, it's four days now. We're going four days. We're going four days. We're going Saturday and Sundays. Saturday mostly give me like some some games. Um, the podcast mostly give me either Saturday or Sunday, depending on what, whatever works. And then Wednesday, Thursday mostly give me the gaming stuff. What I want to try and do. 
and we'll have some we'll have some revenge nights where we're like, hey, I, I rage quit on the game, I'll come back to the game eventually, and I'm like, like Tomb Raider Underworld and Tag Force, like those those, like those examples, uh, I'll probably break, we'll break, and then maybe we'll have Paladins again, maybe at some point, but the game lag, it's so buggy, and like, yeah, it's like those are the games like examples I want to try and play, but. Wednesdays, I do want to bring something back, which I know people have been, have been asking me about every every single time. Overwatch. That's right. Now, I know what you're thinking. I said this before, always on stream, that Overwatch has tend to be laggy as hell. Because, I'm, because those people that are new to the channel, I'll get to the falls in a minute. But, it lags like hell. It it just, it just when I stream and then the, when I play the game... At the same time, and also that's the reason I realized when my, my, my browser's up, I have to turn that off. So I have to turn all my browser off. So I can't see anything. Let's let the chat or, you know, that's all. They, we have two monitors now, so I can actually can see the chat easily without even, let, without even like going back and forth and scrolling up and down to see what's going on or whatever. So it's going to be a lot easier now. That's what, It's been a lot easier ever since last year when I came back in August. So... Now that I'm back with three, for another, for I'm back again with a, with a fresh new mind, a fresh new mindset, and I'm just more excited to come back now to be hopefully have a better, hopefully be in a better mood because I'm more and more happy to see you know. Also, also as you can see, the chat's a little bit different now because I also you know, sort of, um, listed the. Oh, Twitch really did this modification. Really, hey, you can actually see what you know, you know who's the first time people in the chat are moderator or. Also, I enabled that too, so I could see all the well, all you lovely people in the chat, as you know, as you know, being that role player in the chat. So it's pretty cool. So I, kind of, I kind of enjoy. I kind of like that idea from Twitch. So that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, mostly going to be Saturday and su Saturday and Sunday is mostly going to be featuring on the other stuff too. Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday, Thursday is going to be having some stream, um, some mostly gaming streams. I wanted to bring Overwatch back, which I know a lot of people want to do Overwatch streams. I must warn you, I, it's, it's gonna lag like hell. It's it's so crazy. I've already showed proof before. So if most those people want to see the stream, see the how what happened. Even when it wasn't competitive, it lagged so hard. So I can't make any promises. I already warned you, warned you guys. So I warned you. I don't say I didn't warn you. If I have to hear complaints in the chat, I don't want to hear anybody complaining. But why did you play so bad? Because I'm because the game lagged like hell for me. That's what's that's the problem. I'm streaming the game and I have the game played at the same time. So is it worth it? Is it worth it to me suffer? Or is it just a dick move from from the far community? <laughs> I don't know. That that's the you. It's a lot of people have have suggested Overwatch Wednesdays to me to do Overwatch Wednesday streams. Name of the Blinkens crew actually are invested on this. So I'm like, are you sure this is gonna work? Because some people, I need to have everybody else in this in this chat. That needs to be that takes a lot of dedicate, a lot of dedication. To hopefully, and people show up though. That's the problem. But that's a different time. We're here, we're here to have fun here, not to here to complain. So, pretty much, I'm gonna bring a lot of stuff in. The, I'm gonna bring a lot more energy. Bring a lot more, uh, more jokes, more cringeworthy shit. Uh, I'm gonna bring a lot of more stuff in in this chat uh, in in this on on this Fire community server. So be fun. Um, also, can, also I am rebuilding the server a little bit because my Fire community server has been having some issues. Um, this hasn't been like it's been very very lackluster. I just need some energy. People be be energized. We don't have that energizers. We don't have anybody else that can energize that much in the chat people have been busy so people have got lives to do so that's something I need to like, need to focus on is just need to be patient that's probably the only thing you need, need to be is patience and I just I don't have that and I need to re I have to work on that so I had to learn on my own because I was I was so impatient when I was on here I was doing this for her for a hot minute and it's been very stressful so that's what things and switches mostly do is it's stressful for everybody else so I'll say this it's been a very tough time on twitch and for the last two months it's been really stressful and knowing that's gonna be hot uh, I have a lot I just wish I had you know people were consistent so that I wish for but people are looking at different time zones and they can't make it so that also depends on what what their time zone is really so I have no clue on whether or not it's going to be you know, possibilities that might be 
of what they're or just maybe at some point they might be people that are sick you know, I have to I have to really really know and and really care and really care about their, their well being. So I have to I have to work on that. That's what I need to work on with my own. So I took took a lot of time to figure that out. It was it wasn't easy for me. One of the reasons why I left and it was why I had so much struggles with Twitch and you know just and especially working every get paid every month it's just you know a hard time not you know playing I'm usually get you get paid every week but now it's like every month it's just it's not. It's still not good enough for me. After I need to find, I have to also gotta find a new job now because I'm only getting paid a month. So that's a different story. But uh, but I want to say it's been a tough time. It's been a really tough, tough extremely tough schedule. Uh, now that I have, I have those night shifts are finally over with now. I don't have to worry about no more night shifts. I can focus on getting some rest, getting my sleep schedule back in place. It's been like up and down lately. On sleep, and I just need to get back to work on that. That's something. Something I need to work on. It's just sleep, and that's what I need to rest. That's, that's what I've been having like struggles with, with me being errat irritable, and just you know, being or being irritable. That's a better word. Irritable. That's probably one of the words you know that I had the most struggle with. Just me being angry so quickly, and just like, why the fuck is like nobody here? I, I just don't understand. That, that's an example of me just being this angry and just upset. No, 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 no. Oh, like, oh, yeah, well, people are going to show up. Oh, yeah, that's great. Have faith. Then it's like nobody, like, the chat's a graveyard. <laughs> that's what, exactly what it was. But, like, the, what, it, what it, you know, it, it felt like, it felt like it was a, a massive graveyard. Or the chat became buried. I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> just the chat disappeared like a magic trick. It was just like that. I don't know. So... I'm not gonna care about. I'm not gonna. You're not gonna care about viewership anymore. So that's what I need to, you know, work on. It's just no more caring about the view, about the ratings of viewership. So that's out of the. That's out of the window. But for now, I'm gonna have fun with the stream. If it's like shitty, I have this guy. Keep, it's all about the grind, baby. All about that grind. We're all about the grinding here, pretty much. It's basically grinding right now. I think about. It's kind of like how, like how I play other like farm based games too like Warframe and, and Genshin. Uh, I guess you play Animal Crossing too. Sure, a lot of people have Animal Crossing has been like the most popular game right now. Um, that's supposed to be space on farming is concerned. So I actually was supposed to get Animal Crossing. I wanted to try to play it so at least it'll help me out a little bit and have more variety in gaming. And then a lot of people like like people like Apex and Fortnite and I'm like I don't I'm not a Fortnite person. I'm sorry. I, I I'm too old for Fortnite. <laughs> I'm not a Fortnite person, uh, but a lot of people, lot of people said you check out on um, the Battle Royale games. Like any, like I know this is um, Realm Royale, but I don't know if people would care. It's like a discount, like a very early version of Politics. So no, but it's Realm Royale. So I'm not gonna care about that. No, but it, I, mean, I mean also Apex probably might be another game I can play too. My build, a lot of people are playing Apex. So I might be able to play it too. I, I don't know. I played. It, I actually streamed it before my first time streaming it, and it worked out pretty well. I got my first victory too. It's actually it's pretty cool. We actually got our first uh, victory. This is awesome. We got first, which is my first uh, first game one, which is awesome. I could do arc, but arc is too heavy, so I can't. Our arc's out of the question now. That series is gone now. I unfortunately with arc, it's gone. I just check on the animals real quick and just if I have any more like updates, I will talk about Gen Gen two. Some part of arc. I am, arc's probably gonna be a lot of work for me. I don't know if I'm able to be able to do much. So let me ask you that's a podcast one. But yeah, nonetheless, hopefully you guys like the new schedule that I that I'm gonna hopefully try and do try to get there on time. If not, I have to cut short and it's have to wait till next time. But if I don't make it in that time, I'm like yeah, I just know that I'm already hurt. Oh, I meant to the wrong one. On oh, tab. Still getting used to this. I always have those, have those issues. Uh, other than that, I just this for this topic. I'm just happy that you know the the games are coming or the games are working out pretty well. Something to, you know, I don't also get. It's kind of a, kind of enjoyed River Bond. I don't know if people would, just, again. Was, there wasn't much people in, in the chat, so. I don't know. I don't know what to say. So I have, and so I'm just gonna skip that and probably just work and play that game on my own too. I also got Dead by Daylight, which is nice. I also got Dead by Daylight. A lot of people have been playing that too. 
So that's what I'm thinking right now. We could probably play it. I could give it a test drive and see what I can do with it because I know I'm going to be doing a lot of, a lot of fun things with Dead by Daylight. That might be a Halloween, like, what's it? And we'll probably do it for the October. Looks like I play on my birthday stream, but that depends on how many people will be there or if you're a community stream with my, um, with my new lady friend. I won't be able to, I'm not going to reveal anything, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how that plays out. But I have Dead by Daylight. Thank you again to. Plenty MK, aka Eric. Um, everybody, everybody loves Eric, but uh, he is—he sent me the game last year as a birthday, so I'll be able to do that as well uh, as a birthday stream, or we'll probably do a Halloween stream if necessary. Because this game is very heavy, so this game's another heavy, uh, heavy game. But I set the low settings for now, so that should probably help a little bit. If not, then I'm the test is recording. It did work, so I'll be able to try it out. Uh, if I want to try and do like horror theme games or whatever, but I'm not really a horror person, not really a horror theme person. I know Gremlins is probably the closest you can get, <laughs> I can get to horror theme, but um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for that topic really. I just also I'm sweating profusely because it's hot as hell. This humidity is crazy, and so I, I guess that for now. But I have learned a lot. I learned a lot so far with as far as, you know, build. also also new soundboards, by the way. We got new sound effects. New sound uh, sound alerts uh, as, far as, as far as firewalls are concerned. They are in brand new um, brand new sound sound alerts. I listen in the Discord server. I'll have to make a new, um, uh, like a little, a little bit of a son of a night bot, really. But you get to use, they're also... Are gonna be available. Also, move the thirsty chat to 250 now, so it'll probably be a little bit easier to you know, hopefully have a thirsty chat enabled, you know, for any any time, any of those four days that I talked about just now. But however, there's new sound alerts. You guys, you have, you have some fun with to check it out. It took me a little bit to figure out the sound effects, so that's why I'm, I'm, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna add them in there. The fart. There's uh, emotional damage. Of course, that's been like an overused meme. A lot of good memes in, the, in this sound alert, so. It's gonna be nice to actually have some cool some sounds. Hopefully that can maybe I'll probably have like, maybe a jump scare one too. A lot of people actually use a jump scare one a lot too. That's that's gonna be pretty awesome to have. So I'm looking forward to it. But other than that, I just I did a lot did a lot of tools and tricks. It took me a while to figure this out, but hopefully it might improve a little bit more on my streams more often because it's better better to improve than to not improve. Really, that's well. That's why my motto right now is just better to improve than to not. You know, better to not improve. Really, I get this as much as I can. All right, but anyways, did so new sound alerts. We got one for for Watchdown Code. We got, of course, one of my favorite is oh, and that's just like the most funniest one. I think Blaze has been, if Blaze watched the stream, I'm sure he's gonna be able to be able to just enable those. All these are like what 100 to 300 point, 300 fireballs, so you get to use them anytime. So they're also unlimited, so you get to use them as much as you guys want to. So I'm sure you guys will have some fun with that. Because I also got a new headset. I was, I got, I was gonna wire for my headset, so I at least I can finally hear. You know, because it's still fainted on. It's still fainted on because this wire still sucks, and the wire already was already like starting to break already. It's just, it's been hell on this headset. So let's have to go wireless. I don't have to worry about you know going through another like like trying to, have to recharge my stuff again every time. So it'd be bit nice to take a break off that for now. So it's it's good it's good for business. So I'll take that. It, it's good for business. But at least I have a lot of some now wired, so I think I can finally hear. And have to worry about, no, I have to worry about, you know, recharging my headset during the stream, midstream. It was horrible. It's a horrible start. Now, let's have to get a new headset. That's a wired headset, but I always just gotta get the, get the replacement wire. The one I had with the, with the wireless headset. So, I'm not happy about that now, but. So my eyes have been I'll do, like, before the stream. I, my eyes are so blurry too. God damn, because this fucking humidity is killing me. Now, I'll probably try to probably spam hydrate as possible. Knowing that it's gonna be really hot as hell 
in this weather in this, this in this in this office. It's really hot here. So and I'm hoping that will be be a little bit more different. So nevertheless, I I love the sound the new sounds. <laughs> There's a few of them like Metroids, there's a Captain there's a Captain Falcon. Yeah, one of my favorite characters in Smash Brothers. Yeah, uh, the Conor McGregor one. It's always fun. So, but yeah, I enjoyed the sound, the new sounds. They're gonna be pretty, be pretty awesome when they do get a chance. Um, but it would be nice to actually have some new stuff on the stuff here when I when the, when the time comes really. So, I will be able to have new sound, new sound effects in there. New sound alerts are already in the, in the channel. It's so mostly channel points. So you guys want to just mostly try to save, your, save up your fireballs as much as possible. You can, you can, you can cash in. No merch stuff was added. I just didn't really. Care. Honestly, the merch store has been like dead to me now. I, I really the people. I'm sure people will, will be able to eventually once we get we build our community a, a little bit stronger. They'll probably hope we'll, 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 we'll really open the merch store again because it hasn't been it hasn't been much buys so far. So since since September last year, so it's been its business has been really slow. On my end, so it's been hard to sell merch, which is true. It's hard to sell merch these days, especially I have like no promotion really. I haven't been trying to promote as much as possible, but there's like still no buys. So that's something I need to you know to play to stop caring about the merch store too much because people it's hard to sell merch these days now. That's a different different story. Um. Of course, I'll. I mean, honestly, I'll, I'll still bitch and complain about other things, but right now the time the time for bitch and complaining is finally over with. I don't want to have to worry about no crying or, or complaining about stupid bullshit because I mean I'm I'm here in the podcast, so this is this is mostly where I have a chance to complain and cry, and bitch and moan about stuff. So what can you expect? <laughs> but I'm not I'm not going to be able to go too crazy with this. So I want to just do the best I can and not bitch and complain about stuff and just move on with my life. And no it's like for example like I'm bitching about ratings or viewership being a, a pain. Like I said, that's gone now. I'm, I don't have to care about that anymore. I'm moving on with that. If it's shitty, if it's a shitty stream, moving forward. Better mindset. That's why I took these 3 weeks off so I can relax my head because my head's been killing me. And doing this consistently is kicking my ass and affecting my mental health. That's why I took a mental health break for these. That's one of the reasons why. The main reason why is I took that break because I needed that. And it's best to take a break. Those people who are just, you know, streaming and neutral streaming, don't overextend yourself. Don't do it. So they had to learn from the hard way. And it was hard for me to, to learn about streaming and just doing the whole, the whole process. Really. So that's definitely been out of, out of the window. But for now, I just feel content. I feel a little bit peaceful. I am hurt, actually. I'll I'll get to that in a minute. But I am I am hurt. I have been, also been injured. Uh, I did suffer an injury in my in my jaw, which also had a dental injury, which almost cost me about me like probably. Well, I'm still I'm still standing though, which is I'm still talking. I'm still standing. You know, I'm sitting, really not standing, but you get what I mean. But the fact is, it's been hell. These few weeks, but it's also been a good thing because I get to probably rest my rest my. No, I have to worry about working like a fucking maniac for like three weeks. Just try to hey, yeah, let's <laughs> fucking fourteen hours, twelve to sixteen hours of fucking work and editing for Blade Games. And what do I get? I only get like a hundred fifty a month, but still, you know, something. It's progress, and I'll take it. And it's something I can do. But that's out of the window now. No more crying and complaining over here. Let's like let's, let's like stupidity that it's like neighbors are being a pain, being nosy bastards or whatever. So I have to then have reason to complain and complain on here in the podcast <laughs> podcast really. Um, but other than that, I do feel content. I am hurt. I'll get to the jaw jaw pain in a minute. Um, I'll just right now. We'll have to get over with. Uh. But yeah, I'm in pain. I'm still fighting through jaw pain. Uh, about, about a few months ago, I did feel like uh, like a pop in my in one of my teeth. My teeth just popped. I'm like, I feel like a crack in my jaw. I was hurt. Was hurting me, 
and that's why I think that was gonna happen. Where my the pain, the injury, the, that pain started. It started from here, on my right, and now from like to my left side, it's hurting me. And it actually like simultaneously, both sides of my jaw hurt like hell. I couldn't, even, I could barely eat. I had to, you know, had to watch what I eat. That's a, that's a, the bottom line. Is I need to watch what I eat. So I was in pain. So that's one of the reasons why I was I was out for three weeks because I was injured and I was pain. I was in so much pain and Overwatch was, it, was, it has helped me. But I think at some point I need to I need to stay away from, um, from gaming for a little bit because I am hurt and I need to just relax my relax my jaw. My mouth has just been, I, I've been like, and in, in a lot of pain, just jaw injuries hurt. And I'm sure people with dental health is just, you know, people who are actually had dental surgery or whatever. Jaw pain is hurt. It's hurt. It's really, really hurtful. Especially if you're trying to eat food. You're trying to eat crunchy, especially crunchy or sweets. It really hurts your teeth. So you're trying to eat metal, eat through metal. And you, you know damn well, unless you're like some kind of like powerful shark or whatever. Or some, some weird creature. I don't know. But... Would you want to try to eat metal? Who the fuck? No, it's just it, it's it's like rest in peace your jaw. It's like <laughs> ah, that's that's it. That's pretty much it. That's basically your your whole life, your whole to. It's a little, it's a, it's like that meme, that Morgan Freeman meme. It's like it was like this at this moment they knew they fucked up big, big time. It's that was exactly how I felt with the jaw, like eating crunchy food. <laughs> And then that was like the death of my teeth. That was it. It was Bapu Beep City. Sorry, more more fire. And yes, I still have still have back. I still got like fire fire trucks and fire alarms going crazy. Um, it was it's definitely the death of my teeth, <laughs> but. I still feel the pain. Uh, I'm trying to like fight through it a little bit. I don't want to be be almost all stubborn, but be like it to be a, all this big up big time anime here anime character. Be like, hey, I'm a, I still am hurt, but I'm not going to give up whatsoever. So I'm mean, I'm still that's what I'm that's pretty much what I am right now. Just trying to fight through pain as much as possible. Keep the OnlyFans is bad. How about Only Pain? God. Subscribe now, and you, you'll see my teeth just explode from just eating fucking crunchy food. Whatever, but nevertheless, I I'm still hurt. It's it's healing though, but I think it's just, it's just my it's always like a minor pain. Now it's just gotten the pain got worse, and it, like it gradually got worse when I um either I ate something or it just the pain was just and my gums were just growing with pain. I don't know. It's just a lot of things to think about right now. But I was invited, actually, in the meantime, I was invited to uh, my friend's streams. I was actually doing Overwatch sessions with with, uh, with my friend Rory, aka Red Lion, shout out to Red Lion, um, for, in his Lion Pride, really doing, doing some Overwatch gaming stuff too. So it has been very helpful for, for me to at least be like, hey, I can just be like as a role player now and just support other people. So that's been mostly been that's what originally my channel my channel was supporting other people and supporting other streamers at first before I started streaming myself and then so I wanted to be, be more of a leader, not a follower. So that was also fun, but it also I wanna be want to work on my own and, and fulfill my career. So for my career is failing, and then, and then I also got like a lot of disrespect, which is also I guess sort of, oh, they're all trolling or joking really. So, yay. I'll take that. I deserve that anyway because I was an asshole. So, whatever. But the fact is, yeah, my jaw is in a lot of pain. I'm still holding on from this injury. I don't know how. I, I'm sure. Everyone's asking, go to a dentist, go to a doctor. First of all, a doc first of all, a doctor is, is a little bit different. Dentist probably a lot better. Especially Especially going to a dentist. A doctor probably won't want him to do it do won't be able to do anything, really. Let's <laughs> have to get, you know I'm not I'm not that hurt. I'm, it's just my jaw hurts. I'm not an actual like I don't I didn't tore an ACL, guys. I'm like my jaw hurts. It's not I hope it's not fractured. 
It's more like a dentist I need, not a doctor. If, if, I, if, I, if I need a doctor, I honestly, why would I be here? I would honestly would have just like tore my, I would honestly would tore something or just like broke my, broke a bone. Then I would have went to a doctor in the first place. Not just, oh yeah, we go to a doctor. You, your jaw hurts to go to a doctor. Uh, dude, just, it's a dentist. You guys are stupid. <laughs> uh, my friends are stupid. Because they're dumb. D U M B, dumb. I also gotta sneeze. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> so that's the Eric for the implosions of the sneezes. There we go. Now we have. Okay, so at this point, yeah, it's already hot, and now I'm already getting sick. I already took a shower too. That's the thing. I took another. I took another. Sh I took a shower. And I take another fucking shower now. It's so fucking hot here. But. Oh god. I can't, like, this humidity is killing me right now, especially the spring weather, summer weather is just killing, it kill me, regardless. Right, but that's all I had to say. Hopefully I can get better. I'm trying my best to, you know, fight through the pain. At some point, I'm going to have to go to a dentist and actually just get, get this removed, get my teeth removed. At least get one of them removed. It's probably either just pain. I'm holding it right now, and I'm actually in pain still. But... I'm trying to at least heal up, heal up and get as much as I can, and just hopefully I don't have to worry about the commentary too much because I'm trying to provide the commentary as much as possible, and it's hard. It's really hard nowadays, especially I'm, in, I'm getting older and also getting in, hit with injuries left and right, and dental pain has been killing me, and especially my dental health's not the greatest. Especially my it, it, it's, it, it goes through my family, so my, my it leads from my my uncle, my mom, my grandmother. And then it leads to my great 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 grandparents. So it definitely runs. Blaze, us Blazkins don't have don't, us Blazkins don't have better teeth. Our dental health sucks. <laughs> my family's dental health sucks. So it's a lot painful than you can imagine. So especially you know getting it removed, and then by that's why I had honestly I did have surgery in my jaw before, so it did help me eventually. You know, get better, but now I'm having the same process. It's the same history. The history is just going to repeat itself again, and now history about to repeat itself. As I'm going to have this have the same injury again. This time it's on my left now because the previously was on my right. Now this time it's on my on my left side of my jaw, so it does hurt. But I'm still trying to hold on. Um, definitely need a lot more rest. Um, R and R was definitely my best best decision I made. Just, you know, a lot of people actually say, you know, it's better to rest. You know, you know, definitely just take some time off. You don't have to worry about doing this every single day or whatever. So that's what I need to, you know, work on. It's just have some time where I can actually have a week off of the streaming because I don't have to worry about doing a whole bunch of stuff here and there. So it's been a, it's been a lot difficult really. It's been a lot difficult, actually, and then also my channels too. Been, been kind of nice to see, you know, have some other different other varieties on my channel, on my YouTube channel, actually. Subscribe if you, if you want to see Azure more Azure Boys content. Subscribe if you guys are new. But I do feel itchy, itchiness on my on my in my nose, or on my ear. But nonetheless, I did. I also need some, you know, relaxation from all the all the issues I had to go through. So, for now, it's just going to be a lot, a lot of things, a lot of difficult times right now. But I think at some point it'll be nice for to get back to what I need to, you know, go through, and ho hopefully, to, you know, come back to what I need to, you know, be. Because I know I'm going to be having a lot of issues, you know, with, as far as like streaming is concerned, and trying to like get back to where I need to be. It's hard for me to just, you know, get back into, you know, stuff. 
but it's nice to relax. I definitely need some time off. And after that, I'm like, you know, no, I'm gonna come back, even though I am injured. But I just like, I my my jaw hurts, and I know I need surgery. At some point, it looks like the man needs to be in her surgery. My jaw, no, that's not my jaw this time. So I'm willing to at least have that opportunity. But right now, I want to at least get these get the schedule out of the way, and I can focus on get the streaming done. You know, and I can focus on going to a dentist and just get it, get it you know. Focus on getting make getting myself healthy again. But I want to make this thing, make this clear. So, uh, but yeah, I just need a rest, honestly, and that's something I need to you know help that and get back to some scheduling. So I'll have that have that deal with. My one of my goals is to get to a hype train, but that's gonna be a I think I might need a lot of people for that, like. Especially doing like events like birthday streams or, or doing donation streams, whatever. I always want to do a donation stream. I just didn't have have the time, or I need some time to think about, you know, scheduling. Really, I mean, it's probably gonna be like for like a small stream or whatever. Probably be like you know, maybe like three three to four hours. How much? That's usually usually how I average like three to four hours of streaming. But people say it's too long, or I need to trim it down to like two hours. Maybe. Maybe at some point I may have to trim it down like to me like two and a half hours or something like that, just so I can you know have some time to, to to hopefully edit a little bit and then just get some get some rest and focus on focus on our day tomorrow. But you know, thankfully now we're we're back on weekdays again at oh, we're heading weekdays again for for Wednesdays and Thursdays now, which is we're basically going back to original schedule again. But this time a little bit twist because we also bring back the weekend stuff too on Saturday and Sunday. You can see a Saturday stream for um, either for this for podcast for podcast stuff or possibly uh, community streams. And we'll, either, either one works really; it doesn't really matter to me. But Sunday is nice as a, a way to say, "Hey, I'm back," and looking forward to just to bring more content to the to the channel. So I'm I'm happy to, you know at least be back for now. So that's but I, one, the one goal I do want to focus is a hype train. I'm really excited for a hype train. I do want to see how that goes, but I think we need more, a lot of people than that. Probably need, like a, probably need to make it a whole community stream or something. I hope we have a lot of people to hope make it a community stream at some point. That's what I'm thinking right now. I don't know if it's going to be a lot of a lot of people for... Especially my birthday is next month, so... Yay, birthday month. Hell yeah, in June. Not a lot of shots, all June birthdays. But at some point, uh, hype trains might be uh, have to be consistency. That, that's the chat's job. I don't know if the chat will be that consistent. I don't know if it's gonna be, if it's possible, but it might happen. It might work. It might not work. It, it's just, it's just depending on how many how many times I need to get through. So I have no idea. That's something that I have to really I have to really get my my community a lot stronger. We're probably need a lot more people than that. So that's what I'm thinking at the moment. So I, I don't know. So I'll leave it aside, but it'll be cool to see our first hype train on this on stream. It'd be awesome to have our first like have a dream come true to have a little hype a little hype train on the side. I think it's supposed to have like bits, subscribe subs, and then have something, something to do with like a whole bunch of like combinations or whatever. So also or you know, that's something that you know that needs to be done really. So we'll we'll think about that. That will probably we'll probably discuss as a group. I don't know I don't know if it's possible, but. It can be done. I think it can be done. So that's something I need to, you know, focus on. Is just, you know, we'll see. We'll see how many how many people will be in, in, you know, people in the chat. How many people I can, how many people I can try to see. What I can contact with see the people that actually do show up the stream or whatever. But that's a different time, different different place. So I'll mark that as a maybe on the list. So, but that's gonna be a, definitely gonna be a maybe. Um, I look forward to having my first hype train. Hype tra ha my hype train. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much it. I just pretty much that's all I need to say about hype train. I just I'm excited for it. Hopefully, that's one one of my goals for this year for the rest of the year is to try to get our first hype train. So it will be nice to have one. And then uh, we get to we get then we get to our PC updates. Uh, I also, like I said, I did order the the new graphics card. It, it actually is here. Uh, it arrived, but it's not it's not inserted yet because I didn't. I tried I tried to to, to insert the, the GPU into the the one the computer I'm using right now, 
but it it didn't it barely fit. It can, it did work, but it barely fits because I need to also. Um, at some point, I'm gonna have to also need to. Well, I have the PC box I already have it already, which is when I'm the, the game one. I'm just built the Cougar, the MX Cougar that I just talked about uh, last few months. So it's almost complete. I think all, all I need to do is get the power supply, and I should be able to be ready to go. I, was, I just gotta replace the power supply that I have, and just replace the one the one that was. This is an older model, so I'm gonna, this one probably like at 850. I'm looking forward to or, or 900. So. That I'm looking forward to getting, but the good thing is I have my, my new power, my new graphics card. It is a uh, Nvidia 1060, so this would be a lot better as NVENC as well. So it'd be nice to actually stream from NVENC as well. So I'm very excited for that. So that'd be pretty awesome. So uh, that's something that I'll look forward to. Hopefully, it'd be a better improvement for streaming, really. But I don't want I don't want to jump to conclusions just yet because I always had the worst luck with trying to build PCs. And I want to take my time with it. So obviously, building my first PC isn't easy, as I was told that sometimes PC, these PC PCs are not going to be easy to build, especially trying to like, depending on what what model you really want, really, and just what we really want, really. I put really in, in two sentences. <laughs> but what I'm getting at is basically you have a GPU. It's hard to build for your first, build hard hard to build for your first PC. It's really hard to build your first, very first one. So. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm going through right now. But the good thing is, I got it. Um, just missing power supply, and I hopefully I can get it maybe in the motherboard. If that doesn't work, that might, this is my theory. Because the one I, I tested it out, and on the game, the game one I have, my Cougar, my MX Cougar, is it works. But the fact is, there's like nothing popping up, and it's probably like some kind of like weird. Um, or is it like something? Something must must be wrong, or let's just apply a RAM issue. That might be what something I will, my friend, my friend told me, and Rolf just told me as well when I was streaming as well. But that might be another issue. That might be a that might be an issue. I have to figure that out. I might have to do one stick of RAM maybe. If that doesn't work, that probably something's different, or something had well, let's say I bought a, a faulty motherboard. That might be an issue. So I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see how that plays out, but the good thing is I am working on that, and hopefully by by my birthday next month, I should be able to, should be able to get it and finally build this PC and have it finished. Which is it's just it's still it's been almost two years, and I've been scrapping away trying to find some find some other ways to get this power supply. But this graphics card was kind of an, it's a, it was kind of an issue I needed because I thought oh yeah this might fit, but I wanted to test it out. I couldn't because the the, 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 the GPU was, didn't fit well. Didn't fit to the, to, the, to the box I have right now. Is it's a very it's still still a solid. It's actually it's pretty. It's a big case, but even with that, it's just there was still no room because I I had to unplug everything else so I actually could fit it. But now it's like oh yeah I, have to, I can't see it. This is this GPU is fat. It's a fat GPU. <laughs> it's it's so it's ridiculous, but. Uh, but I, I did I did well. I honestly, at least at least it all can fit. But it's just it barely because it, it's this thing barely fucking fits. And it's not trying to stick your dick in a Cheerio. It's just like why? It, it's insane. But however, I am more more excited now. That uh, you know, I'm looking forward to get this GPU. You know, hopefully added into the gaming one. And once I have the power supply, we should be in good hands. It's gonna have to provide a replacement, really, and then add it to, this, to add to you know, add it on. So I guess gonna replace what I have that I have right now, and just, well, just welcome to PC gaming where you have to upgrade your shit. That's pretty much it. I also remember that's a good that's a good motto for my uh, it's a good slogan for my for my friend for my friend there. So that's pretty that, that's pretty accurate actually. So I kind of like that. So I'll definitely take that into consideration. PC gaming, we have to just upgrade your shit and <laughs> and you just dip out. And just upgrade everything else. So it worked for me. It did. For this one, be like, I mean, I said I should upgrade you guys on, on different PCs, but I think June Paul will, will be it. I don't want to jump to conclusions too much, though. I don't want to do that just yet. But I want to make sure everything else is tested, ready to go. I want to take my time with this because this thing is this PC building's been it's been a very long journey for me to build this. Nearly about. 900 bucks in total that I spent all, almost all my money, pretty much my whole salary on this, you know, all the parts I needed. 
Nearly nine? I guess, no, it's been like. No, I guess about like maybe. At least 700. 700, I guess. I guess. But anyway. Um, or I also talk about back on weekends. Um, we'll, we'll probably have, we'll buy, oh, actually, back on weekdays and weekends. So, also combining four days a week again. So, nice to bring that back. The old schedule's back in normal, so. And we also got Q&As. I will get to the Q&A section right away. But also, we'll also bring up some new, some new stuff. Uh... So here's, here's the thing about Christmas stuff, or Christmas stuff, uh, Christmas, Christmas stuff, yeah. Yeah, it's Christmas is coming in July, great. <laughs> um, Q&A stuff, I want to do, do want to do more Q&A stuff uh, in the podcast, so I can also answer, you can answer your questions or your tweets, whatever, if I ever get tweets. Um, you can also follow me on my Twitter at Azure Plays again, go check it out. So let's look forward to that. If you guys are looking forward to see more, um, uh, here have more questions really. But we'll be able to leave some questions. Uh, I'll probably leave in the podcast. If I do another podcast like this, I'll definitely do some questions in the end of of these podcasts. We're actually getting close to the end of it, so we'll I'm supposed to discuss with you guys on on for your updates. And we'll probably do one of our games. Uh, might do might do some of work. We also might, might do some gaming today. Once we we'll get back in the groove again, we're also gonna be a chill stream tonight. But, however, though, I want to try at least say, want to bring some Q and A, bring some more Q and A questions. So, hopefully, you guys leave your questions in the in the questions and answers box. There's also it's in the Discord server, so I'll I'll probably get all the questions for that month, and hopefully by the by the end of the month, like if I do something for May, I'll probably do the podcast answering all your questions. Of course, as long actually there's a few of them actually I got. Which was also do want to talk about it a little something extra was the Pokemon Scar Scarlet and Violet update where they had something to do with them. They also, also I guess they kind of tweet they kind of teased the, the champion I believe, which I also got from Blaze. By the way, Blaze sent me this. Blaze, oh yeah, this is the the, the, the Harlot, <laughs> the Harlot. Um, if I can, that is. I'll probably have to probably save it actually. Hang on. This is probably the newest. It look. It looks like to me this is from Pokemon. Um, a, a Pokemon the actual like Twitch, uh, Twitch, uh, Twitter account actually announced that there's a new champion in town, and that's in, and that's for the newer Gen Nine games. So this is a little close, this is a little closer you can get for Pokemon content's concerned. <laughs> but I also got a few um, pictures here that I want to show because I'll add to the. Uh, I guess. Here we go. This is from Pokemon themselves, uh, for the actual Twitch. Uh, I keep saying Twitch, Twitter account. She is always ready, Senora y Senor, Senor, Senori, Senor. Uh, introducing Chanel, Chanel, the, the new the Pokemon, Pokemon champion, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So, it looks like to me this looks like some kind of like a. But this just they say it's a, definitely official or you know from the if it's like from the Pokemon uh, twi Twitter um, Twitter page yeah that's interesting though very very interesting actually just seeing that um, but I'm curious to know uh, they might do some something with the whole I was like you know what I also do want to bring Blaze in here discuss this, discuss this with him. I thought that's our it's probably our first. We also bring some guests over to to the podcast room, but unfortunately, it's like no, I don't, I don't know. Also, I missed a call from. I don't know why is he calling. Why did he call me? But it also announced on May 18th. I think they kind of teased it at some point. But I'm like, I'll probably will discuss this a little bit. I, I I'm concerned about her outfit though. They might have to just do something with outfit because I think I don't, that's a lot of ass. They should they, they should look at the picture a little bit further. Or closely, like, they show her ass a lot. <laughs> I don't know. They might have to do something. They might have to censor it, or probably have like a bodysuit for her, or something like that. Maybe. So I, that's something I need to, you know. I'm a little concerned about the outfit, but she's she's pretty cool looking though. I do I do like the the new champ. 
The only question is what kind of mons we should be using though, maybe like fire. Um, I'll probably, I'm thinking like fire types really. If they do something with fire types as a champ, that would be pretty awesome. That would make, make her my favorite champion, I think. So I do, you know me, I love fire type Pokemon, of course, so that's my, that's my element. Fire is my element. But, but Chanel having fire types, that's what, that would be interesting too. Imagine that. That would be, she'd be my new favorite champion right there, right from the get go. I would play this game a lot if she actually had fire types in her team as a champion. That would be pretty cool. Or she'd probably have like, like, or diversity for her team. So that's definitely a maybe right now. That's one, that's one, one of my theories. Like, what if, oh, Chanel has, like, something interesting. Um, may have diversity or fire types. Maybe, maybe poison, too. Maybe, like, fire and poison, maybe. That may be interesting, too. Having both of those diversities, too. Having both fire and poison. So you never know. I mean, Violet and Scarlet also, like, you know, the red and the purple mon. So they may have fire. Well, maybe something like the, the legendaries may have, like, fire and poison. Maybe Scar uh, Violet will have something about poison types, and then Scar Scar will, have Scar will probably be like fire type, obviously. Scarlet also, it's a, very, it's a burning passion of fire, so. It's hard to with maybe something to do with fire, really. That's my only theory I could say. I mean, that's my best guesses right now. So, the, the Mons, I don't know. What's a Trump, a Trump card Mon? It's gonna be interesting, interesting to see how the, how this new this champion plays out. This could be I mean, this is also gonna be a rumor, but I believe this is a. I, I thought it was a rumor, for me. And also, they did Pokemon Home had an update where you actually can send your Mons to BDSP, um, or, or Arceus as well. So that's pretty cool. They actually kind of like had an update for Pokemon Home. So was, that's what I was waiting for, to have like you know it, at least BDSP a little bit will be less boring now, and. It makes nice actually have some something new, you know. They said some some of my my old teams come back. Like I actually got my got my I just did the update and I also like oh I got my I got my old Pokemon back from when from, from the OG Diamond for example. So at least that that helps that helps me out a little bit and I actually can I can probably do some fun stuff with uh, BDSP and just like just do maybe yeah, I can do egg based hunting or whatever. I haven't I haven't still haven't got any luck on, on the shiny I haven't got my first shiny egg. Or my shiny, my, on any shiny eggs lately, so, or just doing breeding in general. So I haven't, I haven't got much luck on that. But this is something, something interesting that I'm, I'm just curious about. You know, some, he'll, we'll have more information about Scarlet and Violet at some point. I believe so, the game's supposed to be coming out this, like, later this year, which is, I believe that was the number as soon as we write. I believe it's supposed to be out this year. It's kind of weird because we just we just had Gen Eight with Sword Shield a few years ago. Now we have Gen, we have Gen Nine already being introduced. So I talked about this as well too in the podcast as well, and on stream that the new also I think I still have the 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 ones I also talked about and then the, the trainer outfits really was kind of interesting. So again, I am excited about Scarlet and Violet a little bit. With Chanel being introduced, and for according to Pokemon's you know. Tease a trailer, a teaser. They kind of, I guess they kind of teased about it, and they actually kind of played it because there was a shrine says, "Hey, yeah, possibly our new champion." It could be. It this could be fake, actually. It could be. It could. It probably be non. I mean, it's be, it could be. It probably will be just fake, really, a fake post, really, just trying to troll us, maybe. But if that's if the Chanel was our, you know, pick for champion, hell, yeah, I go with that. But it's the outfit that they didn't have planning to change a bit. They show a lot of her assets, really. <laughs> but um, maybe you know, like they'll probably have something to do. They'll probably have like me, like a flamingo as a flamingo dancer. I like I like her as a matador. She looks like like a female matador. Because the, again, this is this is uh, Scarlet, and, Scarlet and Violet are based on uh, are basically based on you know Spain, really. The, the most of their theme is Spain. And it's pretty cool. I actually, I like the like this also. I did see the trailer of it too. It looks remarkable. It looks beautiful, by the way. Especially in Spain. This Spain is always beautiful, though. Spain in general is always beautiful. A lot of beautiful countries. It'd be nice to visit Spain. But nevertheless, I do appreciate that. That that's th thank you, Blaze, for sending for bringing that up. By the way, bring a suggestion. So I do appreciate that. So, oh, but it's just like that. Like any picture, like in this react to really, that'd be awesome to have. So, 
that's what they introduced something new to the podcast. It's also having some its own questions, of course, either from Twitter or from the Discord, or whatever. If I get you know or hear my thoughts on uh, or updates and stuff too. So yeah, leave definitely leave your questions. Of course, if you guys want to see more um, podcasts like this too, and I'll be happy to do more more of these at some point. And I believe that was pretty much it. But let me know. Um, hopefully, in the future time, let me know if you want. If you guys want to see more podcast stuff? Also, be able to re-upload this onto my YouTube channel. So check, check it out. Most people watch this on my on YouTube. Actually, hit the subscribe button though. Hit the hit that noty bell too. And in the meantime, uh, I think that's gonna be it really for the podcast. Actually, that's gonna be pretty much it for now. Uh, I think I think I explained a lot. I'll update you guys on, on what I'm doing. I try my best to get back to streaming again. It's been a hard time. Especially, especially me being injured with my jaw, being in pain, and it hurts, but I'm still trying to hold on for a little, a little bit more. I'm just trying to get back up there. It's been a tough time, but, uh,. It's gonna have a lot of things to go with, actually. So I'm pretty excited for it. In the meantime, I should at least be having more stuff in the future. Um, but I think it's all the updates I could say about for for the podcast, and we do we'll probably do our game, you know, game tonight. Um, might be a little nice and nice little way to get back to streaming again. So yeah, I'm gonna do a little break. Um, I'm probably gonna just gonna. I'll also check. I'll also do a laundry as well too. I'm gonna do laundry for now. I'll definitely split, split this apart, make this into a podcast. Hopefully, we'll probably do this at some point. But yeah, look forward to see more stuff. I will hope hopefully have more stuff on the way. But we get to our brand new. I also our brand new halftime. Yes, also in kind of increase the halftime. So we gonna you this might be a little bit early stream. But we're definitely gonna have some more fun with some more streams like this. Um, maybe for Sunday or Saturday, if we do like a podcast every, every you know, one of the one of the weekends, so I can spend some time relax from gaming for a bit. But we'll probably make this into exception since this is my return night. So probably we'll have some some games to play. Really, I am pretty excited for. Well, I should want to continue to continue the rest of. I just want to get back to playing some other games that I haven't really played much. You know, I'll probably do Genshin, but I had probably just look at the mass update I need to do, so I'll, I'll wait till afterwards. But I do want to finish Naruto, so we'll probably just go just do Naruto next and just go from there. I do want to finish the story at least so I can get back into. But yeah, that's all I was saying for the, about the podcast, and we'll get to our Naruto. We'll get to Naruto tonight, and we'll just you know continue from there. So nice to take a break off of it and just focus on my stuff, but. Again, not, not enough, it's still, still not enough people, but we'll get to that at some point. So we'll get to our halftime. Enjoy break dancing, my new, my newest. Uh, of course, I go back to my, my OG waifu. The Marvel Watch waifu, but unfortunately, Brigitte's. I guess I run stream. Brigitte kind of, <laughs> kind of, he kind of does. You know, has has ups and downs. So it's, it has been hard. It's been a hard time for break for break fans like myself. Like, at least I got to play the game on stream on my, on my friend's stream. So there you go. I proved I proved to the world that I can still play. You can still play Brig, even though a nerf Brig is still, you know, solid enough. I still got it on Brig at least. All right, I'll be back as we're well, actually ending out the first half of the stream pretty early. It's, I also got here really early today, which actually is very nice to have it. So. End the podcast. Moving over to Naruto. See you there.